Hello everybody! I am back today with this mold that I got from Tamu, um, gosh, just a, a day or two ago, this little owl. He's kind of a highly decorated owl, but it's really cute. Um, it's about, I think maybe about four, four inches or so would be my guess. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what I'll do with him because of this size. Maybe he will be, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Actually, he's too big, probably for a, too big for a pendant, probably too big for a magnet. But um, anyway, I'm going to think about that. But in the meantime, we're going to have fun making it anyway. So I'm going to be using Let's Resin Chameleon Powders and uh, Kino Imitation Gold Leaf Flakes. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the chameleon powders, right? So whatever, let's see here, let me think about this. So whatever it touches first is what is going to show. So no, you know what we're going to do? Okay, no, we're going to try something else. We're going to put down the gold flakes first and then we're going to put the, the chameleon powders on top of it. Let's see if we get any kind of effect with that, okay? So I'm going to, oops, one thing I'm gonna do is turn down my stand on the camera. These are gonna go blowing everywhere. Popsicle stick, okay. See, these big flakes here are just perfect, except I wanna open it a bit here. Let's see, you come over here. They're still kind of blowing around. Get in there. Go. Okay, I think that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be completely covered. Okay, let's get the lid back on this before it goes all over. Kind of already has. Okay, so here is that part. And looks like it's going to be okay. Just want to make sure we got stuff. At least a little bit in most places. Okay, now let me use this big brush because this is like the probably the softest tip brush that I have. Oops, it's got just like a powder on it. Get ready. Okay, and let's find the colors that we want to use for this. All right, let's see. We got this is blue. And champagne. All right, I think I'm only going to throw one galaxy. Hmm. Maybe I'll just throw one reddish tint in here. And I'm probably not going to have room for all these. But I want kind of an array of colors. So, yeah. I'm just going to take a bit of my mica powder, shake it off here gently, and then I'm just going to dab some in here. And some of my gold will come off with it, and that's okay. And let's see, we'll do a bit of this olive. Mint. Okay. And we'll do a bit of this galaxy.
Gosh, this could have the potential to turn out really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and squish down some of my mica powders. I'm gonna some of my gold. Some of them are looking a bit loose. It's okay. All right, and then I'm gonna turn around and see what I haven't gotten yet. There's gotta be some spots I haven't reached. But this is pretty. A little bit of this. This is really a pretty color. Just, I feel like we're missing just a bit of kind of a red color down at this end. All right, there's definitely some loose gold in here, but I'm not going to mess with it. So I'm going to just take a little bit of alcohol spray and spray it in here. Just kind of hopefully keep our some of our gold where it needs to be. Okay, I'm going to wet it down a minute. I'm going to... Um, clean up here, make some resin up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've mixed up some more resin, and I'm going to pour some. I'm thinking that's going to take about maybe two ounces, maybe three. So I'm going to mix up three ounces. Let's see. I just want to make sure I've got enough in there. There we go. It's right at three ounces. And I'm going to be adding some Black Velvet India ink. This is by Handy Art. Uh, one, two, three, four. I've only put about four drops in here because I'm actually going to add something else as well. So get this stirred up and see how opaque this is. pretty dark. Um, I don't see through it when I lift it up off the stick. Okay, so um, this is looking pretty good, but another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this. This is like a chameleon liquid car um, quality paint, okay? Um, or pigment, so it's very liquid. So I'm not going to add very much, and it does have a, a fume to it, so I'm going to put my mask on and just put a, a few drops in there. This just gives it a bit of shimmer. Okay, I don't want too much because I don't want it to mess with my colors there. I don't want the green to overpower. So just a couple of drops. Can't mix very much of that with your resin or your resin won't cure. I found that out the hard way. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and spray a bit of alcohol. Okay, so if you do buy this mold from Tamu, um, just know that it does take right at exactly three ounces, filled it to the top, and there's no room for any more. <laughs> But yeah, it did great with that amount. Okay, so I am going to watch this now a bit and let it cure. I might see if I can slide it onto something and then move it over to my curing rack, okay? When this is all done, I will be back and we will demold it. I will see you in a while. Okay, everybody, I'm back, ready to demold our little owl and see how he did. He's completely cured. You can see some of the colors that came up through the um, this here that we put in this pigment, that chameleon pigment. It's really pretty. 
and I'm excited to see what we got with this and I don't know what's going to happen with the gold uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the gold foil but we will see I'm so excited to see how this turned out I have not ever tried anything quite like this before so let's see figure this out together let's see here get that out of there pick off just a couple of these it's kind of like more like a turtle from back here but okay I think it goes like this actually well this way for you guys okay are you ready let's take a look at this thing there it goes oh my gosh Wow, that turned out really pretty. Really, really pretty. What do you think? Really pretty. You see the, the chameleon patterns up here? Kind of, I don't know if you can really see how they shift um, real well here in the camera or not, but um, I can definitely see it kind of shift the colors through here. Yeah, gosh, that is pretty. What do you think about the gold on top of it? Actually, I'm just going to lay him down on this. <laughs> okay, let's lay him down here. Okay, oh my gosh. Yeah, so this is really, really, really cool. I actually really love how this turned out. He's still a bit, just a bit soft, not bad. I'm going to have to take my deburring tool, or whatever you call that thing, probably, and get in this little fine crevice here. But, oh my gosh, he's so cool looking. So, so cool. So, what we can do, thinking it might be fun to come in and maybe put some blue or green eyes in here. Because his uh, the eyes are, like, sunken in. I could also do some gold highlights. Oh my gosh, you guys, the, the possibilities are endless on this thing. I'm so excited to see what all we can do with it. Let's see if we do just a bit. I'm going to go ahead and, should I go over his eyebrow? I kind of feel like I should. Just kind of give it, kind of define it a bit. Maybe, let's see. I don't want to take away from the look of the gold flakes though here. So I don't want to do that very, I don't want to do that in too many places. Let's see. Okay, I think that's, you know, honestly, I just don't want to do too much to it. I feel like I don't want to do any more. Because that is, it is really cool just the way it looks. So, um, gosh, let's take out these little Swarovski crystals. Okay, so here's some that are um, this kind of like just these kind of colors. And let's see if that would fit if we chose something like this. And his eyes aren't big enough, even. Okay, let me see if I can show you this again without dropping it here. Okay, so this is what that, if I just had like a Aurora Borealis fauceted crystals in that eye. Okay, so we could do definitely do that. It kind of brings out all the colors. That's really pretty. Now these might be a bit too big. Definitely pretty, but they might be a bit big. So, let's see, here is a green one. Oh, I don't know, you guys, gosh. Oh, I think I like the, I think I might like the bigger eye better, even. Because owls are supposed to have big eyes, right? So there is green. There is one with the Aurora colored eye and one with the green. Now let's try, I think, yeah, we definitely need, I think we definitely need the bigger eye. Let's see. Yeah, 
let's get the little one out of there for now. I'm going to just set that aside for now. And then let's also try, let's try one of the blue ones. Uh-oh, where'd it go? I felt it leave, but I don't know where it went. It's probably on me somewhere, but a little more carefully this time. Okay, so here's the blue. I don't know, is that too much blue? Do we want the green where the green kind of brings out the colors? Gosh, I don't know. Okay, um, the green kind of brings out some of these greens here. And then the blue, there's a lot of blue. Oh gosh, I don't know, man, it's so pretty. I guess I'm almost kind of leaning more towards the blue. Here's a lighter green and the blue still. That difference between those colors. I think the only the last one I'd want to try in here would be the yellow or the orangey color. So that's really pretty too with the orange here. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like that's the one. Even though there's no orange showing up in here, but it just really brings out the colors, the jewel tones, right? The blue kind of gets washed away, I feel like. So let's put another yellow one in there. Wow, yeah. I feel like that's really pretty. What do you think? I think that's it. I think that's the color I want. That just turned out so pretty. I can see wanting to do more of these. That's for sure. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to plan to do these. I hope you guys all... <laughs> I hope you guys all at home aren't going, No! Do the blue! Do the green! You're, you're messing up the color scheme! If I am not, that is not my expertise is to um, choose colors like that. All right. I hope everybody is on the same page with me and said, yeah, that's the right choice because I don't know. I don't know. But you can always tell me in the comments if you think I would have done better with a different color because I'm sure I'm going to be making more of these. This is just really kind of unbelievable here. And I wish that you guys could see it in person here. Yeah, definitely have to get that off of there. But yeah, the the chameleon powders are so pretty on this. You can just really get the full effect. You just really can. And and the gold foil. Wow, who would have thought? Who would have thought we would have gotten this kind of effect? I mean, it's really cool to have the mica powders behind it. Okay, so now let me find my this. I'm going to use just a bit of Loctite, okay? And there are, these, these Swarovski crystals I have are flat backs. But these eyes in this owl are definitely sunken in. Like you could put a jewel in there that had a, um, that had a, a point, you know, that came to a point. So I'm going to try just to put a tiny bit in here. Oops, that was a lot. Actually, that kind of all just sunk into that hole. Wow. Okay, well, that wasn't as much as I thought. So let's see if we can hurry and get this over there. Okay. And a little bit on this side. Turn this right side up. Don't want to get glue on it. Now one thing I do is I want the eyes to be even so that they're not like looking all lopsided here. Let's see. All right, I am going to let this dry and not touch it and then hopefully it will um, kind of dry. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, as soon as this is all dried, I'll be back in just, just a little bit. Maybe I'll give it like a half an hour, and then I'll come back, okay? I will see you in just a minute. Hello, everybody. I'm back. 
So as I contemplated many different things um, with this owl of, as far as what to do with it, now that he's pretty much done, I really, really love it. So what I decided I'm going to do is I have these um, saw tooth hooks, okay, that I use on the back of my, um, gosh, like my seahorses and things like that that I've made in the past to hang. So um, because this guy is just right at about four, four and a half inches long, I decided to take one of my saw tooth hooks. These are only about one and a half inches, okay, and fits pretty well on the back. I decided not to do anything else to the back. I'm not going to do any kind of a coating or anything because if I make them to hang, it's just really not going to matter. But do you see how this, um, the one and a half inch, it's so glossy back here, it's slippery, um, but this will fit just right back here. And I'm just going to use some of my super glue, my Loctite super glue to glue this on. And what I've decided to do is that I'm going to make two more and um, same kind of a gold technique, but maybe you know a little bit of different colors. And then I'll have a set of three, and then I will hang them up on a wall um, somewhere. I don't know, maybe in, in one of my bathrooms. Just as a cute little, you know, just a little something different and cute. But I think in a set of three, kind of staggered a little bit, um, that that is the way that I have decided to use this owl. So, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and glue this on here with you guys real quick so that um, you can see what I'm doing. Just, you know, everybody probably knows how to glue, <laughs> but, uh, but I'm going to just do it real quick here. Now there's holes in these, so you got to kind of make it, make your glue spot a little bit wider to compensate for the screw holes. Okay. And I'm just going to lay it on there, just make it as easy, even as I can. It doesn't actually even matter all that much because there's different hooks on here. So you can even it out as you need to. Let's see. Yep, that looks pretty good about here. Okay, so um, yeah, there's a good probably, I don't know quarter of an inch or so in there for your room for your nail. Maybe even, well, no, probably not a tack, but for a nail, for a small nail, that'd be, just work out great. So anyway, here it is, and I am going to let this dry, but um, he's all done, and I'm excited to make the other two and get them hung up. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and were encouraged and inspired to make a little owl or maybe try one of your other molds and use this technique and see what you can come up with. Um, I'd love to know. If you do give it a try, let me know, okay? And thanks for joining me today, and I will see you all next time.